Satch Adams joins the illustrious first class of Thousand Dare. Congratulations, Satch. You did it. It's not easy. All right, it's crunch time. Let's get this show started. Hit that like button for great prosperity. It could happen. Besides, don't you want to grow the wealthy community? What do we got? A couple thousand subs? So if everybody's a Thousand Dare, we're already worth millions. Imagine what we could do if the council should convene. So I started my new job last night. And by new job, I mean another job. In addition to my more than full-time job. I have presently. So we'll see how it goes, but it should be a nice extra chunk of dough monthly. And I'm focused not to allow any lifestyle creep. If you're not familiar with lifestyle creep is, it's when you start to make more fiat at your jobby, and then you decide to live it up a bit more. You have to be mindful because there's many ways it can express itself. It could be as simple as buying crap at the store when you put gas in your car. Maybe you start eating at restaurants all the time. Or maybe you think you're special enough to turn the heat on in your apartment. Apartment. Nope, we got spillage. It's gonna be a lucky, lucky day. I can't stay long this morning. I gotta drive across town to get a prescription filled for allergies. And then start my long, long day of work. But it's no problem, you see, because I go to sleep at night. I don't eat and drink a bunch of crap. I don't socialize much because it usually compromises me to my detriment. Nothing too drastic, but I have these high standards. Besides, I got you, friend, though. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> You know, it's strange having, uh, I don't know, a channel and subscribers. You are subscribed, right? But anyhow, like, I just don't think that many people have this type of thing going on. I just, I walk around with all these voices in my head. And by voices in my head, I just mean your comments that I read throughout the day. I have this counsel, this guidance. And now it's like, it's in my thoughts. It says, don't buy gold backs, idiot. <laughs> but seriously, I do feel fortunate to have so many people that I can bounce ideas off of. People that already think of finance. Many people that I see in passing, they're just not interested. And then I can't help but wonder, ah, there's only like a, a couple thousand people right now. What is, what is this gonna be like when it grows? Honestly, I don't even know what this is. I'm just on a mission and I try to collect my thoughts every morning and I do it out loud with an audience. I guess it's becoming exhilarating. I'm enjoying it and I'm gonna continue to enjoy it. So look at these $100 bills and think about what you could get with each one during its day. The old $100 bill on the top, I looked it up. You could get 526 gallons of gasoline with this back in 1934. It would take almost 2,000 bucks to do that today. So having one of these was kind of a big deal, I guess. How about this $100 bill from 2001? This one could get you about 68 gallons of gasoline. That would cost you about $272 today. And then we got this guy. About 25 gallons of gasoline, give or take, today. All right, I really gotta go. I hope you hit that like button. It's always appreciated. And leave a comment below. That's it. That is it. Thousand Air Radio, wicked shout.